It's time to do it, boys. Do more porter work to this cylinder. I want to try to get more RPM out of this. Also, I bought an Athena Sport. It's coming tomorrow. Hey, guys. That was a good timing. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, yeah, let's get into it. It blew up. I made a video on this not too long ago, part one, part two videos. Check those out. For porting, this is what I'm using. It works. And for the bits, these are what I use. Even though these are cheap, they seem to hold up pretty well for steel, iron, aluminum, and stuff. Okay, in my part one video, what I did to get more flow, more performance, basically, I winded this up. It used to be down here, winded this up around here, and also did this just for a little bit better flow going in there. Basically, blend it. Did I also winded this up a little bit in the middle, at least. I didn't do anything to this port and the cylinder port only in the middle. There was a weight on the top of the cylinder. It was something like this. So to get more performance, okay, more power or better flow of fuel, you can widen this up all the way down here in this port as well. This way. I'm a fall bikes said up to 70% of the piston and also winding this up and through here. That way and that way. Just leave it alone. You can also wind in this up here. You know, that way. For more flow as well. But don't touch these. Leave those alone. It's designed like that for better flow. You know. In these transfer ports, I would leave those alone. And for more RPM, you weigh that exhaust. That's it, like a millimeter. Maybe 11,000 RPM. Maybe 12. I could weigh it up to 1.5, but I believe that loses some low end power, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. So, yeah, let's do it. Just be careful with this. Don't go too far. Make sure to check more often. At least try to. I got plenty of space. Not bad. Now it's winding a little bit. You should try to keep the corners curved. Not like too sharp because of the skirt of the piston. You know, that it won't make it easier for the skirt to catch. Damn, that is very wide. That's probably good enough. Okay. <laughs> that is hot. Ow, that's hot. Gonna have to, like, change my angle or something. Okay, it's finished this port. That's what I did so far. And uh, this one, I just wanted it to be like more flat for the, yeah. Does it really matter because the weed valves, it doesn't really matter anyways. I did that for nothing. I may as well widen this up completely. Oops. 
Yeah, whoops, but that's okay. It's at the bottom, not up here. So. Okay, that's good enough. Now, let's do this. I gotta muck it first. Gotta do that before porting, because if you don't, you're not gonna know how far is too far, how far out. Push that flat, so that it's more equal, more aligned, I mean. And that's staying on good, kinda hard to tell. This is probably not a good method. Why right there? I mean, I don't have a degree wheel and stuff. I'm gonna try this method anyways. Right there. 25.3, 24.3, 24 I'm gonna just do 24, about 1.2 millimeters. I'll do that, I guess. 25.25-ish, down to 24-ish, right there, okay. God damn. <laughs> it started caxing and then bent it and then um, started vibrating. <laughs> oh. What the f did I step on? This little f Oh wow, look at that. Gee, just look at all that. Oh my god. Look at that and all that. Okay, put them finished. I could do more, but they Now, before I show you the inside, you're probably thinking I did a really, really bad job. Ugly as job. Well, let's see. How about now, huh? I tried to make it blend as much as I could, but it's, it's kind of hard. And, uh, yeah. It lowered quite a bit. Quite a lot. Whoops, it was hard not to do that. No, it's not that big of a deal. About two to three millimeters too low. Because of this, this can actually cause some turbulence. The piston traveling down and the blow down Pronomux came in the floor. So to fix that, I would have to use quick steel and make it slow like a ramp. You use a soda can. I cut out soda can and stuff it with Power or whatever, or use 42 millimeter stroke. Easy fix. Do need a shorter rod or thicker spacer. It's not a big deal. It shouldn't be top dead center. It's still closed, so that's okay. So yeah, as you can see, that spot it's still there, but it's fine. And that spot is now gone. Bottom dead center. And now let's take a look at this. Oh wow, yeah. Now it's way wider now. <laughs> this is still a little bit wider than this. Now what I'm going to do, chamfer this. I'm going to at least chamfer it that way so that it slides, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see how much I wasted before it was something like 25.2. No, that's not white. That is not white. Did I really waste it that much? I did not waste three millimeters. It was 25.2, and now 23.4, 23.4, 25.2, so 1.8. Bottom dead setup. Well, well, around there normally for me. I'm pretty damn nervous. I don't know if it's going to survive, honestly. If it blows up, oh well.
It was a decided to put on 40 taste buckets from 4 to 4. I should still see my top RPM and still go faster and really good acceleration. Alright, so I swapped out the spark plug and the gap is now smaller, like 0.7 millimeters. That is weird. After all, that gap over a month. I'm trying to figure this out. Wait.
catching our way. Careful the next time. That did not sound good. What's the temp? 250 Fahrenheit. Yeah, I think I got a soft Caesar, maybe cold Caesar, 260 Fahrenheit. I need to tune it though, I need to tune it, cause it's running lean. Like at over half the throttle, it's lean. But goddamn, 10,300. Okay, let's see if it still runs up. Sounds different too. God damn. Yeah, no. I should probably go back home and uh, and check. See what happened. for now. 
I lost some power. A little bit of power. I see some oh wow okay wow oh oh my god what just happened yeah the piss yeah it was running very lean so that's my fault that's that's my fault the cylinder looks okay though no no I can feel a line yeah there's a line but it's not awful look at that and there was some squawks in. Oh my god, it, it still runs though. Well, I'm gonna have to fix this. The more you look at it. Wow. I wanna. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh my god, look at that. I don't see any lines for squawks and that is impressive. The the top one though, meh. I can see I can see some squawks in right there. It's kinda hard to see. It's kind of flat, but still okay, I guess. That right there, mmm. Me. That is that is impressive. Yeah, there's some squawks in. It doesn't mean it's not going to run as good anymore because it's at the bottom. It's under the combustion chamber. It's different, but up here, yeah, that affects everything. Can't really feel it. Can't really feel that. There's that. Yeah, you can see it very clearly. I can repair this, fix it using a honing tool, and it should run just fine. So part two for that, and um, replacing this stuff. I should clean this up. Make sure there's no chunks of metal in there. Wall shavings. I'm going to clean that out. Time for this video soon. Make sure to subscribe, turn the bell on, like the video and stuff. I cannot wait to try this out. I cannot imagine how much power and RPM it gives me. Oh yeah.